Gone are those days of lockdown, when we get to spend our entire day with our adorable little Shih Tzus. Most of us have to go back to work. Now, Shih Tzus are super devoted and affectionate dogs who love being with their owners, and the idea of leaving them alone in the house may not be appealing to many. So, can Shih Tzu stay home alone? We will find out in this video of Shih Tzu Care. Whether you leave a dog alone in the house highly depends on the breed characteristics. Some breeds like Basset Hound and Chihuahua can cope with isolation much better than other dogs. Unfortunately, Shih Tzus are not one of them. Shih Tzus are social dogs, and they are used to living in social groups. So if you leave them alone, locked up inside the house for eight hours, it will negatively impact them. They may get stressed and start destroying furniture, scratching doors, and start barking continually until you come back. But this does not mean that you can't leave them alone at all. With some training and patience, you can teach your Shih Tzu to be alone for some time without being anxious. But for how long? That depends on their age. I highly discourage you from leaving young puppies alone, as they require constant care and attention. But in case of some emergency, you can leave them alone in their crate or playpen for an hour or so. Once your puppy gets a little older, you can start leaving them alone for a couple of hours every now and then, so that they will get used to the idea of being on their own. Once they are adults, it's fine to leave them alone for three or four hours, but no more than that. And make sure to spend as much quality time as possible with them when you are home. But you cannot just decide one day to leave your Shih Tzu alone in the house. Please, don't do that. Teaching them to be alone is necessary. It will reduce their anxiety and prevent destructive behavior. How to train your Shih Tzu to be alone. Step one, create a safe place. In the beginning, do not give them free access to the entire house. Create a safe space for your Shih Tzu where they can play, rest, and eat. This can be a crate or a playpen. If you do not like the idea of keeping your pup in a crate, then you can puppy-proof a room and create a safe space with baby gates. The second step would be to associate good things with that place. Once you have set an area, do everything that your Shih Tzu loves in that space. You can start giving them meals there or play with them here with their favorite toys. Step three, start with the training. Bring your puppy to the safe place and give them a chew toy or any other engaging activity. When your pup is busy playing, leave the room quietly and return immediately with a treat and lots of praises. Repeat the process every day, gradually extending the time you are out of the room. And don't forget to treat your pup when they remain quiet. And if you find your puppy crying or barking, then do not motivate them more by letting them go out or giving them a treat. Come back again, but ignore them until they calm down, then repeat the training again, but shorten the time. That's mostly it. You just need to be patient and consistent with the training. One other thing you must do is tire out your Shih Tzu before leaving them. Take them out on a long walk and play with them. This will not only make the process easier, but it's also good for their health. Again, I do not recommend leaving your Shih Tzu alone in the house for more than four hours every day. But if you don't have anyone to look after your dog when you are at work, then consider enrolling your Shih Tzu in a reputed dog daycare. Apart from that, you can even consider getting another dog. Both the dogs will have the company of each other, which eliminates the risk of separation anxiety. If you find this video helpful, please drop a like and make sure to subscribe to our channel. See ya!